What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Final Tap mechanic. Uh, ever since these characters have been released, a lot of people have been discussing the Final Tap mechanic, both good and bad. I can definitely understand reasons as to why people would, you know, like this mechanic or why they don't like this mechanic. And I can definitely understand both sides of the argument there, especially the ones where people do not like it. However, there are definite positives to it. It is an interesting mechanic either way. But uh, just this video in particular is going to be made just because I've seen a lot of discussion about Final Tap and the thing is we have a lot to look forward to uh, in One Piece Treasure Cruise and specifically the global side of things because currently there is a character on Japan that has Final Tap that we don't have, uh, Yamato, which we will also discuss in this video after we also discuss the Luffy, the Law, and the Kid in this video today. So we're going to discuss all their Final Taps, discuss the, the positives and negatives to all of these characters' abilities, and we'll go from there. And I just want this video to give you guys a bit of insight as to my opinions about the Final Tap mechanic in its entirety, and what we have to look forward to moving forward in the game. But before we do that, I want to give a massive shout out to the sponsor of this video today. Today's video is sponsored by our friends at Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends Champions designs have a little bit for everyone, ranging from Shadowkin's Jintaro to the Undead Horde's Urost the Soul Cage. And then even the dwarves in Raid Shadow Legends look crazy. Lots of variety and design detail. You've got ones that look like sorcerers, one that look like absolutely beastly warriors, even ones that look like barmaids. And we'll have a look at some of these dwarves in just a moment. You can download free on your PC or your mobile devices by going down below in the video description or in the pinned comment section, or you can go ahead and scan my QR code to download Raid Shadow Legends today. In Raid Shadow Legends, there are countless champions that you'll be able to get access to, and they're all classified under different factions. There are lots of amazing dwarf champions in Raid Shadow Legends, but the one that I like the most is Geomancer, which I'm lucky enough to own, and his first skill is really great because it is an AoE hit and it has a chance to decrease the enemy's accuracy. Then his second skill can remove enemy positive buffs, but if they're dealt with HP burn, he steals the buffs off of them. And then his third skill can deplete the enemy's turn meter and then restore his own whilst also potentially applying HP burn for his second skill, an absolute powerhouse champion in Raid Shadow Legends. Raid has also gone ahead and given us a huge update to the Doom Tower, introducing two brand new bosses to take on. The first one being Astronix, the Dark Fey, and also Bommel, the Dreadhorn, along with secret flaws to discover along the way. And Super Raids will also make their debut, allowing you to effectively double your rewards by playing in half the time. A great update for new players, so make sure to go ahead and download Raid Shadow Legends today. If you download Raid Shadow Legends today using my link or my QR code, you're gonna get access to 200,000 silver, an EXP boost, energy refill, an ancient shard which you can summon awesome champions with, as well as getting access to an epic champion known as Chonaru. Once you're in Raid, you'll be able to get access to all of those juicy rewards up in the corner here at the gift box. That is exactly where you're going to be able to locate these rewards. You can get access to all of these amazing goodies as a new player by going down below in the video description and downloading using my link or scan the QR code to download Raid Shadow Legends today. And you can find me in Raid Shadow Legends under the name Toadski. So hopefully I'm able to see all of you guys out there playing Raid Shadow Legends soon. And thanks again to Raid Shadow Legends and Plarium Games for sponsoring today's video. So thank you very much to the sponsor of this video, appreciate that a lot, but let's go ahead and jump into the global side of things, the global characters that currently have the Final Tap mechanic. Let's start things off with Monkey D. Luffy. So the Final Tap Monkey D. Luffy, his Final Tap, uh, in order to activate it, it's actually pretty simple, you only just have to reach the final battle, and I guess we could just take this opportunity just to discuss it a little bit further, so you guys understand how this character works. So in order to access Final Tap, you only get access to it on the final stage of any quest you cannot get it on like on a stage 15 out of 20 of a training forest no it has to be literally the final boss stage and there are certain requirements that you may have to fulfill in order to get the final tab to activate and we'll talk about that for the characters in this video but after launching the unique effect you can tap doom for an exciting visual shows a new cutscene for the character a nice little animation and then they get a very unique ability that only that character gets access to now this is where things get a little bit dicey because a lot of people don't like this side of things where in order to level up 
last tap or final tap as it's dubbed on global you need to use these very special tablets this is the one right here the guaranteed final tap sugo special tablet so it, it gives you a guaranteed level up on last tap or final tap when you feed it to a character that has access to it but you guys these are extremely rare tablets and even on japan standards as of the release of yamato they've only ever received two of these tablets one on the release of this super sugo fest and one on the release of yamato so these are very rare tablets so you have to keep them safe do not accidentally use them or sell them honestly i would advise favoriting the item just in case just just to be sure because these are very rare items that you won't see often in the game but of course the more efficient way to do it would be just to spend all your rainbow gems and pull additional copies of the character feed them into this unit to level up their final tap abilities and that's where a lot of the problems stem is that while these abilities are extremely cool very they're, they're very difficult to level up because the tablets basically don't exist or you have to pull additional copies of the unit and pulling additional copies of the character is not financially viable in any sense and i wouldn't recommend doing that under any circumstances anyway because i don't believe these characters are worth you know, pulling dupes of them just to max out their last tap or final tap abilities, I just do not think it's completely worth it at all. Even in terms of Yamato, who probably has the best final tap in the game, I still don't even think it's worth farming for, you know, additional copies of the unit to get that unit to level 5 final tap. Just doesn't make a lot of sense but let's jump back over to luffy let's have a look at what luffy gets access to so in order for him to activate final tap he just has to reach the final battle it's not very difficult at all and you see level one here it boosts his own base attack by 300 for that attacking turn which is is okay it's it's a guaranteed little bit of extra damage it's not the best but it's fine, it's just a little bit of extra damage. Moving on though, it does get a little bit better because it changes his own slot into a matching slot and it gives him 500 base stat increase that time. And then moving on to level 3, it gives him a guaranteed matching slot through block orbs and a 700 base attack boost. And then it goes up to a 1000 base attack boost and at level 5, instead of giving him a matching slot it becomes a wano slot instead which of course is more damage than what a matching slot would normally give you so just having a look at this right of course if you get this to max level of course luffy's going to be hitting way harder but another thing you have to keep in mind is that for these characters in a lot of circumstances if you're if you're up against a strength boss yeah you're going to be tapping last with luffy but in a lot of circumstances depending on the boss that you're going up against you're probably not wanting to attacking last with luffy anyways if you're up against type disadvantage obviously not or even if with neutral damage you want to be hitting super effectively so you do as much damage as you possibly can in very rare instances are you going to be using this final tap ability on a neutral or type disadvantageous boss so just keep that in the back of your mind but you know this is a guaranteed little bit of extra damage if you do get that to activate so of course i do not recommend you guys spend dupes or like or even farm for dupes or spend for dupes or uh, use your final tap tablets on this luffy just it wouldn't make any sense it's not a fantastic final tap at all if it made his normal attack bypass defensive effects then we would have a little bit of a different conversation but it just doesn't do that and i just wouldn't really recommend doing that at all but that's the breakdown of monkey d luffy's final tap ability so moving on now to the next character we have the final tap eustace captain kid his final tap is a bit interesting because the requirement says that you need to be at 51 percent or below now you can enter the final stage with above that threshold and then use his special ability to get you below that threshold and then you can launch it. It's just make sure that before you're doing your attack that you're below 51% in order to get his ability to activate. Now the interesting thing about Captain Kid is that his level 1 ability which says that makes his own normal attacks hit all enemies. In my opinion this is probably the best level 1 ability you can have because in certain circumstances yeah you maybe just want to target one enemy hit them very very hard even in neutral circumstances you can hit super effective against anything you want but then make your kid attacks last so that his attack hits all enemies in certain circumstances yeah that's actually going to be very very useful so i do think that at level one kid's final tap is very good and then when you level up his last tap you can see that at level two 
it makes his chain multiplier go to a 3.5 times and then he does his damage to all enemies and then each level up will slightly increase that chain lock at level 5 going to a 4.5 times chain lock that also hits all enemies so that is obviously pretty strong but one thing you have to keep in mind is that when you're utilizing a strength team or a striker team or a driven team depending on the circumstances you may actually have a character that can hit past that 4.5 times chain multiply considering how powerful and how uh, common the chain boundary effects are these days like wano law even like legend sugar to give you increased chain and you can stack chain boosts on top of that legend sugar by the way works with all three of these particular final tap legends and actually it does work with yamato as well because yamato is a driven unit so just keeping that in mind that yeah the 4.5 for his final attack is obviously very good but in certain circumstances you probably don't want that to activate because your chain can be you know sets up to like maybe like a six or seven times but then when he attacks last it'll go down to a 4.5 times because it does override it so that's interesting right um his final tap in in my opinion i would prefer to keep it at level one but obviously there are going to be instances where that is going to be pretty useful so that's the breakdown of kids a very very interesting one for sure and now we have trafalgar d water law uh his final tap ability does also have a condition which says that you need to be at 70 percent or above when you launch your attacks which of course with his super type special giving you healing makes perfect sense why that is the case but his level one ability says it adds percentage damage worth five percent of the enemy's hp on top of his final damage now of course this will be scaling and we'll talk more about it in a moment level two it goes from seven percent but then it says sets enemy's defense to zero for one turn and then it interestingly will give you a conditional boost at level three and that conditional boost and the hp cut that it does deal to the enemy will go to a 20 percent health cut and a three times self procking defense down conditional attack boost you have to remember though that this only works for the final last unit that attacks which is going to be law another thing that we need to talk about that a lot of people bring up about law with his final tap is that the 20 percent health cut that he does is based off of the enemy's hp when law does his attack and you got to remember that he is the final tap unit meaning that you have five other characters that are going to attack the unit before law hits them so they could start at 100 percent and by the time law attacks them they could be at like what 20 30 percent and then you're only taking 20 percent of their remaining hp not their max hp which makes a very big difference meaning that that hp cut while it seems good on paper is not as good as you may think and another thing as well is this conditional boost that sets the enemy's defense to zero and gives himself a three times a conditional boost against the enemy if the enemy has an immunity buff or a defense down immunity this doesn't activate at all so in certain circumstances law's final tap is actually completely useless obviously there are going to be applications for it but it's not going to be one of those commonplace things where this is going to be the difference between you winning and losing a fight it's just not the case you got to remember that all of these characters in that we're talking about have like five times captains like 2.75 times attack boosting specials these characters are extremely powerful as of right now and these final tap abilities aren't really going to be the difference between winning and losing a fight so you know pulling for duplicates of these characters it just doesn't seem like a very smart thing to do and especially using your very limited final tap tablets on these characters as well does not also seem like a good idea so now we've gone ahead and made our way over to the database shout out to solaris for the database stuff by the way so with yamato let's have a look at yamato's final tap ability so the final tap if i can locate it here it is right here the condition states that on the last stage and you activate this character's special ability okay so you reach the final stage you launch it boom then you can activate it so this effect is kind of crazy at level one you gotta remember this is just level one it will boost your chain multiplier by a 1.3 times and then give this character a guaranteed matching slot so this is a pretty crazy ability so hypothetically if you get a chain multiplier let's say it's a four times chain multiplier when yamato goes to attack what will happen is is whatever your chain currently is it's going to automatically give you a 1.3 bonus meaning yamato's chain will now be 5.2 where your last unit to attack prior to the yamato was a four chain multiplier boost i mean just if you just hit generically right it's a 2.5 if you hit all perfects with no chain boost whatsoever it's a 2.5 times chain 
when you get to your last character meaning that you're guaranteed to have your chain to be 3.25 just with this last unit and it gives them a matching slot now you can see how this progresses it goes from 1.3 1.5 1.7 two times boost but then this last one is a two times boost and a guaranteed wano slot even level four level four is probably okay enough because yamato's special ability does have a, a special that can give you wano slots guaranteed so like if we just take that same example of a 2.5 times chain it doubles it to a five um guaranteed but of course this unit has a lot of chain boosting mechanics you can get up to like let's say a five times chain multiplier when yamato is the last character to attack it becomes a 10 times chain with remember like 4.75 captain wano slots are appearing here you can add orbs attack boost on top of that and having a character with a 10 times chain in my opinion this is by far and away the best final tap so far but even though it is the best final tap thus far i don't believe it's still even worth pulling for additional copies just to max the final tap and also feeding the tablets to the character i personally still don't see this as worthwhile for feeding those very rare and exclusive items to this character um, just because i feel like it, unless they release a character in the future that has a final tap that's literally broken like it removes all defensive effects bypasses everything does like a bajillion damage like i just don't see a reason for using these very very rare items yet i mean of course if you really enjoy the character and you love the character to bits you know go for your life but in my opinion you should probably be conserving them until they release another better character in the future that has final tap that you may want to consider leveling up later on down the line but that is going to wrap up this video today guys thank you so much for watching and if you guys did enjoy it make sure to go ahead and hit the like button and if you want to stay up to date with all of the content that i post including more one piece treasure cruise content then make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but other than that guys i will see you guys within the next video